Good morning. It is December the 10th, 2015, and the last day of this week's auction cycle. The three-year and the 10-year have been very, very strong auctions. That usually leads to a strong 30-year. Uh, and right now the market is set to trade higher if we get a little help from the E-mini and from the uh, cash buyers of the 30-year uh, bonds. Uh, the <clears throat> probably biggest negative is uh, the Fed's uh, impending rate increase next week, next Wednesday for the 30-year, and as a matter of fact for all markets. Uh, overnight, Asia was off. The FTSE was down. France and Germany's equity indexes were up. Uh, yesterday, the Dow finished off 76 points. Uh, we rolled to March equity contracts today, uh, the equity index contracts. Uh, tomorrow, we roll to the March currency contracts. So, lots going on. The tendency on roll day on the E-mini <coughs> is for the market to pause, and we'll see if that happens in uh, pretty good support in that 20, 32, 35 area. If that comes out, uh, really we're talking about the uh, 2015 area. So we spill and head head down from there, 2015, 2020. So right now volume is definitely a P. Time are definitely P. And we've got some news to go through domestically today. Jobless claims 270, that's the default number. It really hasn't been getting much play. Uh, when it's got other news with it, but that's the major piece of news this morning. Bloomberg Consumer Confidence Index last month was 39.6. It was lower last month. Probably going to be a little lower this month. Import prices minus 8 tenths, mainly due to the price of crude oil. Export prices, because we don't expect export crude oil. We do products somewhat minus three tenths. Natural gas inventories can come in. The draw can be lower than forecast because the weather's been pretty warm, but they're forecasting a draw of 64 BCF or 4X is. And then the 30-year auction. So I like to buy into weakness today because of the 30-year auction and uh, see if we can't uh, uh, move this market higher. 12 to 16 will be buy one. Let them get stops beneath this. Then we've got volume at the 11, 10, and so basically 10 to 11 is where volume is recently. You can see this little bump right there. So the next buy would be 5 to 9 on the idea that we might be able to buy it below this little volume node. On the uh, sell side, <coughs> selling failure to take out 24 to 28 is the trade. So 23, 27 is the sell. 31 to 03 is sell 2. The E mini, which sold heavily yesterday, 50 reverses and rallies, 40 points today. I'm sure treasuries will be lower. <coughs> and that's, that's what will give us a chance to buy ch on the cheap. Okay, um, basically, resistance is at 16 to 20. You can see this letter ledge up here. They stopped it at 15, so our four letter ledge is 12. So our first cell is aggressive. Cell 1, 12 to 16. Cell 2, 27 to 31. On the buy side, 5501, 29 by 1. Pick up this area down here. <coughs> Lean against it. Might take a 5 to get in. A lot of it's just going to be dependent upon what the E-mini does. Then 17 to 21 for buy two. Picking up this area. 
right in here <coughs> leaning against that for support Gold didn't do much last night. I think it was within a buck of where it closed yesterday. Trying to sell, but getting good buying analysts. So we got support at 65 to 70 and resistance at 80 to 85 as it stands right now. And we're at support, so first buy is going to be 69 to 71 where it was yesterday. And then 64, 66. We'll pick up on that 65 area. Right in here. <coughs> on the sell side, 75, 77. Then 80, 82. Still see it basically in a trading range with a lower bias. And with all the physical demand for gold, you have to feel that the market makers, especially as we run into expiration, be extra incentive for them to be sellers. <coughs> Trying to get some long liquidation uh, in paper. So they lessen the uh, delivery pressures on the market. Okay, the euro's off last night like we thought. We like the sell side. Um, again, it's basically because the European sell. Uh, bank, central bank wants to take it lower. So, I think we had yesterday we had um, 110.30 as our sell zone and the high was 29. Pretty close. So right here we are. Um, the breakout came from the um, basically the 109 area. We're at 9.58. So nine and a quarter allows them to get stops below the overnight session by one. Really think it's a 109 minus market right now. By two would be nine, 109 even. On the sell side, London's high is 110. Then it spilled from. Uh, <clears throat> the 70 level uh, so 110 sell 1 we'll put a question mark at 75 and then 1025 sell 2 Crude sold last night. It's sitting pretty heavy, sitting in the edge of support. Um, I think we're heading for stops below 35 on this rotation. Don't know how long it'll take to get there. But we do have pretty good support at 37. So our buy is 36.75, 37 by 1. Our sell is 37.50, 37.75, sell one. Pretty much where we were yesterday, eight, eight and a quarter, sell two. And if we bust uh, the 36.75 area, 36, 36 and a quarter. Okay, we roll today. Uh, you can trade the March contract uh, if you like today through about noon. After that, you ought to think about rolling definitely by tomorrow. Uh, there's an eight point differential between the two contracts. Uh, so add eight points if you want to trade March uh, to our numbers. Uh, again, the news 
pretty light overnight jobless claims import prices minus eight tenths no one trades the Bloomberg index but it'll be interesting it, it's a piece of information and if that shows deterioration it, that goes in you know people's willingness to take risk um, versus uh, save money minus 64 BCF natural gas players will play that that number can come in smaller because it's been pretty darn warm and these guys don't play the 30-year auction so the tendency is for this contract on the roll day to be sideways and if it has been selling and it doesn't break as you get deeper in the session the more likely it is to rally and go back and close the gap between the two contracts which is eight points so here we are at 4075 you can see 45 right here 47 so first sells 44 46 49 51 for sell 2 on the uh, buy side it's 35 37 and then 25 to 30 I think they'll go for stops below 30 there will be the low volume numbers I think at uh, 3150 3132 and if you get beneath that you can see we've got volume down at 2325 if we break 32 structurally we should get down to 2425 Another thing you see written and talked about is that the Fed's going to raise interest rates next week. Let's knock the market down, give ourselves, sell it into the announcement, cover our shorts when they raise interest rates only 25 basis points. And it's hard to see them raising it more than that. I think Ray Dalio is right that it's impossible to, for the Fed to raise interest rates in a meaningful way so 25 to 50 basis points is about all the ammunition they've got to raise interest rates and um, with Japan China the European Central Bank and everybody else telling them no and with the softening economics uh, the reasons that they haven't raised interest rates are even more prevalent today but right now it seems like they're gonna do it Okay, it's going to take a bit to get everything up and posted. I'm going to get busy on that. I will be back with you as soon as possible.